literally this hair that's how i put it up last night to go to bed i haven't done it at all this morning <laughs> so in the other episode you learnt about josh and that he likes fancy things <laughs> has no tiles on his house uh, wears slippers is great at making coffee and spends all his money on crockery and so, yeah literally spent all of his money on crockery that's why he can't do up his house unfortunately we've set up a gofundme <laughs> But uh, we, we haven't, we haven't. He doesn't. He doesn't need it. He'll just spend it on more crockery. Anyway, now we need to learn about Jack. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Jack is a fireman. He's a lifesaver. I suppose you could say that. And he is one of the owners of this box. But most importantly for today, his girlfriend is a model. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha has been selected to help us with our product shots. <laughs> yep. So yesterday we had Mikey. Obviously, the level of model has just gone up. Mikey. So oh, significantly from Mikey. <laughs> we love you, Mikey. And, um, yeah. We're not training this morning. I Jazz made sure by wearing jeans. Yep. No training today. Uh, Josie's just hard at work. Gonna. Hard at working. Huh? Hard at work, look at that man. Setting the scene. Quite literally. <laughs> you have a piece of paper? A piece of paper? Yeah, and a pen. Who uses that stuff anymore? <laughs> go for it. I have an email, would you like um. that? <laughs> <laughs> Another thing you need to know about Jack is 70% of his diet is porridge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fish. I eat a lot of porridge. And his feet are massive, look at the size of them. How big are they? Eleven. Oh, yeah, you, you know what they Big shoes, big socks. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey. <laughs> the way he starts every day. Welcoming CrossFit box. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Everyone else is just like, yeah, so ready in this song. I'm just like, <coughs> just having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Not every hype song hypes you. Josh found a new song for us to train to. It's called Send It. Oh, look, he's still enjoying it. <laughs> I made it! <laughs> what a lovely street. Something else you might not know is he has his name on a skin rope. You can't see it but you're going to have to trust me. What a man. It's later in the day. We're going to do some training. This, one, this one's a good one. I like this one. I programmed it and I was like, I like the look of this one. Couldn't get anywhere near tier on damn Diane, so we're doing more of those strict deficits. I want to become strict deficit king. I don't know if my rope was kinked. I thought I was clipping something. Oh, what's happening? 
what? Had to use Jack's named rope. <laughs> Everything unbroken though, apart from the double unders, which is good. Rest till 10 minutes, go again. First time 4.30. Without the trips, without the slips, without all that, I reckon we'd go around four. Last 10 bar muscle ups got hard though. Yep. Fun one that. Get a good pump. <laughs> Second round took me seven minutes and 58. But like, these Echo bikes, so hard. Like, they take so long. It's such a grind. That's good though. Only had to break on the last set of handstand push-ups. Did six and a four. Good volume. 20 minutes, good start. Yeah. Feel fun. Good little session that. Second part was actually pretty fun. I haven't done ring muscle ups. I don't know when I did ring muscle ups last, but I was like, yeah, today we're gonna do them. Those threes were perfect after the first part and the handstand walk and stuff. Yeah, really good. Bit of skill, look, you get you get to your little, apparently that's because you don't have enough external rotation, so then you hold the rings in, so I need to work on a bit of external rotation. But um, Bert Jazz just told me off because we're shooting obviously all this week, and she's like, why'd you choose to start ring muscle ups again on the week that we're shooting photos? It's man logic. Man logic is like not thinking about anything and then realizing after your other half has told you that it was um, not a good thing to do, but you've done it. So you just go, instead of admitting that it was wrong, you just kind of go, hmm. So then they know that you know that you've made a mistake without saying I made a mistake. Could be worse. Hey look, you never, this is a CrossFit box, really. You, you can always tell the building that's a CrossFit box. We are happier than we look, I promise. Yeah, oh, another wild one appears. It's like a David Attenborough show. I feel like I did a good job actually, first time being like director, producer, rather than actually having to do it myself. I feel quite proud actually, I feel very accomplished this afternoon, yeah. I'm actually really excited now to sell everything. Can't wait for you guys to have it. <laughs> yeah, all the girls stuff done. Me and Craig will still do our photos as usual, but it's nice to have an extra person or two. So yeah, it's all good. Happy days. I love that the products are so good as well. You know, like me and Craig were saying the other day, like it's good, like us seeing them and us wearing them. But then when you see other people in it, you really appreciate like, how good the clothes actually are. Like, I know that we're probably biased, but they genuinely are so good. We've put so much time into developing them that it's cool to see it all come together. It just was a bit strange when Josie came down and just his face mask earlier. <laughs> what? It's <laughs> not how you wear that face mask, Josie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, love, I love this face mask, because like when you've been wearing like a paper face mask for the past like three months, just because like you know you're going to get a hustle one, so you don't buy another like good one, like, you gotta, you gotta wear it. They are actually really good. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Good, good yep. face masks. The party mask. Party mask. Party mask. <laughs>